Hey guys, I got some really cool key comics today. You be the judge whether they are or not. Let's start now. I'm like Yosemite Sam in the Wild West. I just laugh at them when they wear vests because it's headshots on sight. I don't do beef, I just lay it to rest. I'm so hungry, my boss sound malicious. On my journey, your Hey, ladies and gents, your pal Rob here. If you like really cool comics, spec comics, classic covers, awesome stories, then you are at the right channel. You've arrived. Welcome aboard. All right, guys, let's start with the comics. All right, guys, our first comic is going to be. Mr. Miracle 13 and Mr. Miracle 14. Guys, this is an appearance by Lobo. Now, if you're a Lobo fan, you have to get these books. These books shouldn't cost more than a dollar each. Usually they're 50 cents. This is one of the coolest Lobo um, like battle stories you'll ever get, a, <laughs> ever get. This book has his Space Dolphins friends being injured by some of the crew of Mr. Miracle's ship. Lobo loses it, pretty much destroys everything <laughs> in sight. Um, anyway, this story, this comic is worth getting if you like, you're a huge Lobo fan like me. All right, guys, my next book is X-Men, the worst X-Men ever, number three of five. This is an important book, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, the worst X-Men ever is a story about Bailey Hoskins. He's a mutant who has probably one of the worst mutation powers ever. And his power is the power to explode. However, his powers are permanent. If he explodes, he dies. He never comes back. However, this book, the reason why I have this book here is because in this book, issue three, we have the most powerful mutant Marvel's ever created. Um, however, this is not Earth 616, so technically Franklin Richards is still the most powerful mutant in Earth 616. But in this book, we have a character, her name is Miranda. She is a, for example, I think you would classify uh, Franklin Richards as an Omega mutant where he is. The Omega mutant classification is the most powerful classification in Earth 616. Miranda is classified as an Omicron level mutant which means she has a power of reality. She can make things not exist. She can alter reality to her will. She can make things go away and people will never know that it existed except for her. So she is the most powerful mutant that Marvel has ever created. So anyway, this book I got it for $2 and you could probably find it for, you know, two or three dollars. It's an interesting book. This book has the most powerful mutant that Marvel has ever created. All right, our next comic is going to be Ultimate X issue number one. And this is the first appearance of Jimmy Hudson. I also have a variant here, variant second printing, and just a straight up variant right here, all number ones. Anyway, guys, like I said before, this is the first appearance of Jimmy Hudson, and he is one of I think he, he is the ultimate Earth's son of Wolverine. Anyway, these books can be had for, you know, $5 each. They go for about five to 10, I believe. Anyway, it's a cool book. Is he relevant? I don't know. Is it a good spec? I don't know. This is not Earth 616, so it's hard to say. If you guys know anything about this character, uh, let me know in the comment section because I have really haven't read this yet. I just got these. So if you guys know anything about this, let me know. Hey guys. If you ever saw your comic collection, I recommend Infanti Comics. They're a great company. They pay fair. They buy collections large or small. If you do contact them, tell me your pal Rob sent you. All right, next comic is Darth Vader issue four and issue five. And these are the second and third appearances of Dr. Afra, BT1 and triple zero. Um, these are really fun stories. You get to learn more about BT1 and Triple Zero in these stories. Um, this book shouldn't cost more than five bucks each, I think. Might be a little bit more because it's an early Afro appearance. And if you see these books for five bucks or less, I recommend them as a good read and just pure fun. The next comic I have here is The Star Wars. Now, this is based on a rough 
draft of the Star Wars movie. And it is, I, I went through it quickly, I kind of read it quickly. This is totally different than the story we know. Darth Vader's different, Luke Skywalker's different, Anakin's different, they're all different. You can get this for a couple of bucks. I recommend it just, just for, I guess, historical reasons. It's an interesting read, but it is nothing like the story we know or grew up with. So, for a couple of bucks, Star, The Star Wars is worth picking up. All right, guys, our next book is Shuri, issue six. Got it for cover price. And this issue, Shuri meets Miles Morales for the first time. And this also is the first appearance of Collision. Apparently a character who has high-tech gloves with unknown capabilities. So for cover price, I think this is a good spec. You know, Shuri's coming, Miles has already arrived. And this kid Collision, his first appearance, don't know about him, but for cover price, I think this is a good buy. All right, my next comic's gonna be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 53. And this comic is the first full appearance of Kari, the Shredder's granddaughter. Okay, this book has a black border around the comic, which makes it impossible. This book has lots of spine ticks. I mean, it makes it impossible to get a CDC 9.8 out of this book. And I looked it up, and this book, in this condition, goes for about 20 to 25 dollars. And I looked up CDC 9.8, and the book last sale was actually a couple of days ago. I think it was February 20th. And that sale was $600. So if you can find this book raw, and it looks like it's 9.8, you can find it for like 50 bucks or less, buy it. Because <laughs> 9.8s in this book aren't common. I'm not sure how rare it is, but anyway, I think she's a good spec. I think this book is worth it. All right, guys, now for our comic of the day. This today is truly a special day. I normally do modern, sometimes copper, sometimes bronze, or silver sometimes, too. However, today we got Red Dragon number seven. This is from 1943. This is a classic auto binder cover. Anyway, this comic is in low grade. It's probably somewhere between poor and fair. It's got tape all up and down the spine here, if you can see it. It's got low page quality, but as a result, I got it for about 80 bucks. I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, I have no problem buying low grade Golden Age books because this one, I couldn't find any sales on eBay with this book. And the last time I saw, I, looked, I Googled it and I came across some sales. Um, let me think here. The last, I think there's a 6.5 at Heritage Auction. It sold for, I believe, 4,000 plus. There was a sale on a, 8.0, I believe that was 7,000 plus too. So if you guys know what this book is worth, let me know in the comment section because I have no idea how to value this book. Great cover. Like I said, I have no problem buying low grade Golden Age because, well, they're old and sometimes they're hard to find for a good deal that's, you know, that's at all. So anyway, guys, this is my comic of the day. Red Dragon, volume one, number seven. Great cover, guys. Hey guys, if you got any value out of this video, leave a like. If you enjoyed the comics, leave a like. If you have any questions about the comics, the prices, the video, or anything else, put it in the comment section below. And also make sure you have your notification turned on to upload videos pretty frequently. All right, that'll do it for today. I will see you soon.